Today we're going to try new Heinz dip and crunch things. I don't know what else you'd call them. Secret sauce and potato crunchers. And then we have a spicy version. I don't know if there's any other difference between, besides it being spicy. But there's a little bit more information on the internet. They say that they were inspired by a TikTok trend, or somebody said that. Apparently it's a TikTok thing to dip your burgers into sauce and then chips. I don't know. I'm not on TikTok. I've never heard of that. But you know what? I'm interested. Uh, according to this, the sauce is formulated with tomato puree, molasses, sun-dried tomatoes, garlic powder, tamarind, concentrate, onion powder, and spices with a spicy option available. So I uh, went to a burger place to get a burger to test on this. I didn't make my own. Instead, I went to In-N-Out. I got a double-double with no sauce. This is the way to go. It's got everything else you want. It's got lettuce, tomato, onion, no sauce, so we can dip it in this sauce and see what it tastes like. And then if it's bad, I got packets of sauce. So we'll find out. Let's start with the original and uh, dip our burger. I should note there are instructions on here in case you're confused about whether you're supposed to crunch or dip first. Turns out first dip, then crunch. Who would have guessed? So that's the outer wrapping and then it turns into two separate little containers. And they have it here first, just in case you're, you're confused. First dip, then crunch, everybody. Don't get confused. Don't don't crunch and then dip, otherwise you're going to ruin the whole thing. So, let, oh God, I just got secret sauce all over me. Wow, that's fantastic. Here's what it looks like. Ba -ba -ba. It does kind of look like, looks like a darker version of the uh, sauce from In-N-Out and McDonald's. And it smells more mayo-y. Uh, I'm not sure about that. We'll find out. Here's our crunch which is just crushed up potato chips. Now I am curious how these are gonna be because I don't know if Heinz makes chips or maybe they own every chip brand on earth. It's, it could go either way, I didn't look it up. They could own 50,000 chip brands, I don't know, but I don't think of chips when I think of Heinz. Okay, I've got my burger ready. I've got the dip on my knee. I've got the crunch in the passenger seat to make this work. Okay, I think it's dip then crunch. It could be crunch then dip, who knows? Then, you know, maybe I gotta, uh, hold on, first dip then crunch. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I'm going to get a good amount of dip on here because why not? This is the way it's supposed to be. There's my dip. Then we're going to crunch and I'll show you what it looks like with the crunch on it. First you dip, then you crunch. This is going to get messy. Let's take a bite before I destroy this car. I need to vacuum it. Oh. Um, well, everyone, it turns out that I, I can't actually read because I accidentally got the spicy first. So everything I've been saying, it's been about the spicy version. I realized my mistake when I bit into it and it, my mouth was immediately on fire. And I thought to myself for a second, you know, if there's a spicy version, why is the regular one so spicy? Then I looked at the package. I did the spicy one first on accident. My bad. This is the spicy one. I'll do the regular one next, but phew, that stuff is hot. Luckily, I've got In-N-Out Pink Lemonade here. Cool me down. I gotta say, I'm starting to sweat a little bit, partly because it's hot outside and partly because that sauce is spicy, but it's got kind of a horseradishy spice, which I dislike. I don't really like the horseradishness. It's that kind of spice that kind of like opens you up, like it's, you're, you're gonna get a runny nose and stuff. It's there. Um, I'm kind of looking at the ingredients, trying to find out. It's very vinegary. Um, so we got soybean oil, tomato puree, distilled white vinegar. That's definitely up there. Egg yolk, sugar, apple cider vinegar, celery salt, eggs, modified food starch, molasses, sun-dried tomatoes, phosphoric acid, natural flavors, mustard, mushroom powder, garlic powder, tamarind concentrate, lemon juice concentrate, onion powder. I'm not sure where the spice is coming from exactly because tamarind's not really that spicy, but... It really hits me like horse. It's like I had horsey sauce on my burger a little bit. It's it's very mayo-y forward and vinegar, vinegar and mayo, with that horseradish ten horseradish horseradish tendency to kind of like open you up and kind of. It's not like a traditional spice. It's not like a Mexican spice. It's like a, a horseradish. Like immediately, my pores are open and I'm I'm crying. Spice. It's not ne technically that spicy, but it just hits in that way that horseradish hits and like. Um, what do you call it? Like wasabi kind of hits where it's like, pff, it hits you hard. Um, but it's not necessarily that spicy, but I, w I, d I couldn't handle it. So I think on, on the spice scale for me, where I, acceptable to me is like a three, maybe a four. This is like a 
seven. It's it's up there. It's not like super spicy, but it's that kind of spice that I just cannot handle. That horseradishy, vinegary, and it's nasty. It's kind of nasty. I got to be honest. I really don't like it. I'm hoping that the regular one is not so mayo vinegary. I'm hoping that's a little better. The potato chips are fine. I started eating a little bit by themselves just to just to see what they taste like. They just taste like normal potato chips. I can't really tell the difference between what like what brand they are or anything. So they are salty. They're potato chips. That's fine. But the sauce is so spicy. I guess they're they're, they're there for like a texture thing, which is fine. But the sauce was so hot that I kind of like lost all train of thought as I was eating it. So let's go back and uh, try the original now. Um, I wasn't planning it for it to be this way. You normally you go original first and spicy, but here we are. I'm going to flip the burger around and we'll try the regular and see how that goes. But man, this is spicy. And even if you like, uh, I guess I'll give it a rate. Even if you like spice, I don't think that this is necessarily a good taste either. And it's also very expensive. It's two fifty for this. And I, I'll admit, you get a good amount of dip. You definitely could could probably do a couple burgers in here. So if you wanted to share it with somebody, that's fine. Um, but really, for what you're getting, which is a dip and like two cents worth of potato chips, two dollars and forty eight cents at Walmart. It's very expensive. So it would have to really blow me away to get a good review. And as I said, I don't like it. Even if it wasn't spicy, I don't think I really like the taste of it. So the spicy one, I'm going to give a two. I'm just hoping that the regular one has a different taste profile and is not just the same taste without the spice. So let's get into that. Okay, here's the actual original sauce. It's lighter. It looks more like the secret sauce from In-N-Out and McDonald's. But I've got potentially bad news. It smells very much like the other one, which means it's very vinegary and mayo-y. And I'm really not sure about this, but here we go. Like I said, I got the spread for backup. So I'm going to just flip the burger around. Dip dip then crunch okay then crunch got it got it got it got it there we go for everybody at home so you can experience this beauty this is really making a mess in my car well i gotta say hey i'm not happy with our uh, dip then crunch from heinz the taste is just not good. It really just, it, it just tastes very, it tastes like something you get off a shelf. It, the shelf stableness, I think, is destroying it. Because part of the reason why I think spread is so good, and probably Mac sauce, I'm not actually sure, but they're refrigerated, they're fresh, they're not shelf stable, they're not made with those kind of ingredients, and the taste profiles are completely different. I assume that they're going for McDonald's Mac sauce more than In-N-Out Secret Spread, but even compared to Mac sauce, the taste is just so different. Like, I'm tasting this ne next to it, right next to it. What this has is it's very onion-forward, and it has some hint of dill from little bits of um, relish. And it's more creamy, and it's just better in every way. It feels like a taste that somebody really tried to compliment a burger on. Like, they spent a lot of time. I don't know the whole story of in and out but whatever. It, it goes with a burger, just like Mac sauce goes with a burger. You can put Mac sauce on anything I do all the time. Um, it just tastes good on a burger. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's oniony, it's garlicky. It's not this, which tastes... It has that taste of, like, cheap mayo with vinegar, and it has no onion notes, no garlic notes, no dill notes at all. It's just terrible. I, I, I don't know how else to put it. Even compared to something like Walmart, they have their own secret sauce burger sauce, like their own, like, ripoff one. And it's a lot closer to this. It's actually decent. It's okay. You can buy a bottle. I think they're like two bucks. They also have their own like ripoff Chick-fil-A sauce and it's also good. Those ripoff sauces are good. Somebody spent a lot of time formulating them. This is terrible. It's It just has the look, but it does not have the taste. It's just bad. So I really can't recommend it. And then you get these chips. They're fine. They're just chips. You could get any brand of potato chip from the dollar store or whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. They're definitely not like some fancy chip. They're just cheap chips crushed up so really you'd be better off just going to in and out or mcdonald's in and out you can just ask for sides of spread they give them to you they're free you can get two or three for free it doesn't matter um mcdonald's you ask for a side of mac sauce you pay 50 cents maybe 75 cents depending on where you live dip your burger in that and then crush up your own chips you're you're golden um this way you're paying 250 for a product that i don't even think most people would enjoy at all i i, I really think the taste is so it's just so bad that I really don't think 
most people would even want to continue dipping it. I'm not going to continue dipping it. This is trash to me. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I, I want to give it a one because I almost think it's worse than the spicy because at least with the spicy, you're getting spice. If you like spice, you're getting that at least. Or, I mean, even if it's a weird spice. Um, so I'm going to give it a one. Yeah. Burger dip. This uh, first dip, then crunch from Heinz, it's getting a one. The spicy is still getting a two because at least it, it's redeemable and that it's spicy, but that's if you like spicy. I don't. Just get some of this if you have an In-N-Out near you. If not, go to McDonald's, uh, just get some Mac sauce on the side, and then use that. That's all that you really need. If you want to make your own homemade burger, that's fine. You can just get sides of Mac sauce from McDonald's, bring it home, dip it, and then put it in your own chips if you really want. I do think that the concept is okay, I actually did like the crunch of the potato chips on the burger. I think that's fine. Um, I like the texture difference of it. I think that the sauce on the burger is good. Uh, a good sauce on the burger is good, not their sauce. But I think the concept of dipping in some kind of sauce and then dipping in the chips is fine. I wouldn't probably do it regularly, but I think that it's an okay concept and you, you could try it. But just try it on your own because this is terrible. So I guess thanks, Heinz, for introducing me to the concept, but your execution is awful. Um, dip and crunch from Heinz. Just don't do it. Just get, just get a side of your own and get your own potato chips if you really want to try it. Just DIY it like all the TikToks that I guess invented it. I don't know. So that's that. Heinz Dip and Crunch. See you next time.